Uh, hi, hello. Welcome to Visual Effects and Post Production. Uh, here on my uh, uh, left and on your left, I, I guess as well, it's uh, Darren Mandy, Dr. Mandy. It's coordinating this module with me. And uh, we are uh, intended to test your abilities in uh, the use of different uh, post production tools in this module. So, um, basically, uh, this module is about uh, creating your own um, uh, cut scenes, opening or endings for a, a visual effects piece or including visual effects. Some of you with a background in game studies would try to do your productions, uh, creating your own um, uh, cut scene for a video game, for example. Uh, some others would maybe try to explore better uh, uh, other kind of products, like, for example, an imaginary uh, TV opening. Uh, that would be perfectly fine. The question here would be to uh, explore different uh, visual effects techniques, like tracking, uh, the use of chroma, the use of particles, uh, all these kind of things. We are going to use mainly uh, Adobe After Effects and uh, Unreal for those interested in doing that on real time or using a game engine. So I don't know if uh, maybe Darren would like to uh, explain a little more uh, the contents of uh, this module using one of the modules, one of these uh, weeks as an example. Okay, so just to guide you in terms of what we expect on a weekly basis you to engage with. Each week you will have two um, synchronous sessions where you will engage with both, well, either Manuel or myself. Uh, those sessions are situated at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. In terms of that first synchronous session, before you engage with it on a weekly basis, we would expect you to engage with our recorded lecture content. And the lecture content may be structured in a way that we've got uh, presented here in relation to the module, or may well be uh, a shorter kind of uh, version of this in terms of the amount of materials that are provided. You may find videos in there uh, that will be pre-recorded. You may find tasks that you will uh, need to do in there as well. And hopefully you'll get an understanding through that of what the main issues that you're highlighting or that we're highlighting during the week that will be. So if you, if you um, watch that material and engage with that material prior to that first session, that first session will be in Teams and we'll provide you with instructions about how to access uh, that particular team and that particular um, session at the time uh, when yeah. uh, it's scheduled to be. Probably the most simple, we'll try to provide a link to the to the channel, to the, to the team in Microsoft Teams, probably. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll get access to that, you can access that, that initial session will be online. Within that initial session, we will engage with kind of questions around that content. So, you know, your thoughts around that content and how that applies in the context of both the module and the assessment that you'll be planning for. Okay, so that's the initial content. Following that first session and following that engagement with the, that, that initial material, that lecture material, we will expect you to do two things. We'll expect you to engage weekly in a discussion around the content. Um, there will be a number of different items included in our discussion boards. One of those will be that weekly discussion point, which will, will guide you in terms of the activity around that. There'll be another couple of discussion elements in there as well. One for sharing your portfolio content so you can get formative feedback at a variety of different points through the module. And another uh, discussion for uh, focused on uh, module help. Uh, linked to the laboratory activity. Mm -hmm. Can you can you show them on the on the screen yeah, now? Sorry, I will do. Yeah, let's just scroll back up, and they're in there, I believe. So we've got the two pin discussions at the top of your um, discussion board, which are the help with the lab exercises and the portfolio sharing, and then we'll have multiple weeks of discussion uh, for you to engage with. With, if I'm correct, material linked to that discussion of, um, that discussion item in there as well. So if I just go back, hopefully that'll take us back to the week. Then in terms of 
the laboratory. You'll have a range of materials linked to the laboratory activity uh, presented within Canvas that we expect you to engage with. We, you know, we'd expect to provide a video that highlights what what we want you to do and provide some tutorial material in there. It's likely that both weeks there'll be content related to Unreal and After Effects or content related directly to what we expect you to do um, within the lab uh, over the duration of that week. So by the end of the week, in terms of that uh, final synchronous session, after you have consumed the lecture, engage with the content, uh, take part in the discussion and engage with the lab content, we'll uh, meet up with you again at the end of the week and have a dis you know, a, a further synchronous discussion on campus around the range of issues that you've met, um, sharing some of the work that you've created, engaging formatively with kind of thinking and considering how you can use the content at a variety of different points, both in the portfolio we expect you to create or the production dossier we expect you to create and the final production piece. Um, so you can use that final kind of week synchronous slot to, to really engage with us to understand your, your you know your direction of the duration of the over, over the duration of the module. Each week there'll be directed work. The directed work may well be presented within the module, or you may find the directed work within the content 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 of the slides uh, themselves. I think that's it, Manuel, in terms of overviewing uh, the week's content. What you should recognise is. In addition to kind of the material that we expect you to consume in terms of lecture, in terms of synchronous sessions, you know, on a weekly basis, you are expected to put in a substantial amount of independent time. And that independent time for us essentially will link through to that discussion, link through to the lab, and then link through to how you use that material in relation to your assessment um, and you know, yeah, where you go beyond that in terms of directing work. Okay, I think, I think that's it. Well, then uh, I think we can just uh, uh, say goodbye <laughs> and uh, see you soon then. Uh, hopefully. Bye. Okay, bye. See you soon. Bye. Take care.